culture and climate that inspires our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. Our mission is to reach, to teach, and to equip, and our theme for the year is maximizing our potential. Let's all pause so that we can recite our student creed. I'm an Oakview Elementary School student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to become the best student I can be. I am proud of my school. The vision of Oakview is to promote a high-performing culture and climate of learners to achieve academic excellence. I accept the responsibility for my behavior and its results. I am determined to be safe, per responsible, productive, and respectful. I have high expectations for myself, and I will reach my full potential. I choose to be great. Thank you for doing the Oakview Creed with me. Parents, you should have received an email from me this weekend giving you all the information that you need for our return to the hybrid setting. We are so excited, but in order for this to work, in order for us to be able to bring our boys and girls back in the building and to do so safely with keeping them safe and keeping our faculty and staff safe, there are just some real serious guidelines that we have to follow. So if you did not get a chance to read your email this weekend, please make sure you do so. It talks about the hybrid schedule. It talks about dress code. It talks about our new dismissal procedures. It talks about our attendance policy. It gives you all the information that you need. If you missed our meeting, on last Wednesday, please check out our website. It is posted on our website so you can go back, hear the information, see the presentation. We also have a video uploaded uh, that shows you a life, uh, a day in the life of one of our students as they come back into the building. That would also be beneficial for you to go over with your child before returning. Unfortunately, you won't be able to walk students into the building as we've done before. So that video can give you some ease and it'll give them a little example of what they should expect. Um, remember that hi the hybrid schedule is not every student coming into the building every single day. We got a lot of those calls on last Friday. So I want to make sure you remember that on tomorrow, we're only welcoming our pre-K through second grade students that are cohort A. You also should have been checking Dojo this weekend and you received a message to let you know which cohort group your child is in. So if you did not check Dojo this weekend, please make sure you do that today so that you send your child on the right day. You don't want to send them on the wrong day and we have to inconvenience you because you'll have to come and pick them up. So please make sure you check your dojo so you'll know when to send your child. Tomorrow is pre-K through second grade, cohort A. On Thursday is pre-K through second grade, cohort B. Wednesday and Friday remain asynchronous. Your babies will be home with you for asynchronous learning. Friday is an early release, so we'll be out of here by 1130. On next week, uh, beginning March 15th, we'll welcome pre-K through second grade, third through fifth grade, cohort A again. So I've sent all that in the email that you received this weekend along with the calendar schedule. So make sure you check it out. Those are all the announcements I have for you today. Let's have a great day over you. At 6 p.m. only on Zoom March Madness Game Night. Boys and girls, family fun is guaranteed. Bring your entire family and compete in some fun games, educational games, and win some fabulous prizes. March Madness Game Night, Thursday, March 25th. See you there.
Oakview students, we have another author in the midst, fifth grade student Casey Thurman. She wrote a book called The Traveling Fort. Let's hear a little bit from Casey Thurman. Hi, my name is Casey Thurman. This is my book, The Traveling Fort. This book is about Kimberly and Derek, brother and sister, traveling in that fort to visit their cousin in New York. I wrote this book because since we're in coronavirus, we can do whatever, so I decided to write a book. Greetings, Oakview Strong. Your stressless exercise for today is to walk. Whenever you feel buried under your work, take five minutes to take a walk. You can walk on the inside or you can walk on the outside. Taking a five minute holiday from your work reduces stress in your mind and in your body. It also takes your mind away from the work that you have to do. So Oakview, take a walk and have a great day.